by taking risks, we increase what I like to call our luck surface area. That's why I'm taking 10 copies of my latest book, The Accidental Solopreneur, and I'm leaving them in random places for people to find. The book is a business parable about someone who bets on themselves by starting a one-person consulting business. This happens after they burn themselves out in the corporate world and follows their journey along the way. I'll be leaving copies of the book in random places for people to find. Each book has a note inside the cover letting people know that it was an accident that it ended up in their hands and it encourages them to read it and pass it on. Now, let's get busy handing out some books and put serendipity to the test. All right, we have to walk into Thai by Joe's, my favorite restaurant in Lindsay. I'm going to leave a copy of the book here. Let's see uh, if somebody is lucky and might pick it up. So this is my last book. I put that there about four or five years ago. People are still coming in, scanning it, and getting a copy. Of this time, it's going to be a copy of the accident. So we put it up. Okay, we're driving up the street and what do we see? A little library, the perfect spot to accidentally drop off a book. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're out of the car and we are coming up to the little library. Let's see what it has inside. It's about to get one new edition. What do we got? Oh, lots of Danielle Steele, The Great Controversy, The Quilters, and the accidental solopreneur. Get ready to increase your luck surface area. Somebody's gonna grab this. There we go. Whenever my wife goes shopping, my favorite thing to do is to hang out here on a bench. So I'm in the shopping mall. I'm gonna leave some lucky guy a copy of the book so he can enjoy it when his wife is shopping. It's a rainy afternoon, you're in Canada, what do you do? You go to Tim Hortons. All right, somebody's getting a random book, here we go. Got my copy, got my book, going to grab my seat. So my wife and I were just trimming back some of the plants in our garden in the backyard here because we're going to be um, giving some away to some people and we're going to be driving out of town. So I thought, oh, what a great opportunity to give away a couple books. Well, we're driving out of town. We have a backseat full of plants that we are about to deliver. We are driving through town though, and all the mailboxes in town are on people's doorsteps. So I don't want to walk right up to their door and uh, you know have some stranger on their doorstep dropping off a book. So we're gonna wait till we get out of town when the mailboxes are at the end of the driveway, and we are going to give away some books to some unsuspecting people.
Okay, so we have delivered a bunch of our plants. One more left to go. Uh, and now it's time to deliver a book. We've just pulled over to the side of the road. There is a house with a mailbox. I have no idea who lives here, but they're getting a book. You've got mail. Well, that was fun. Should we deliver any more books? Yeah, one more. One more book, she says. One more book to deliver. Okay, we are approaching some more mailboxes. Let's pull over here. And we are gonna pop a book in a mailbox. Okay, one more person's gonna get a surprise today. Let's go pop it in their mailbox. And again, we've got mail. So I'm just downtown running some errands and I thought, hey, um, I just pulled into a parking spot outside of a, a park here. And this park has all kinds of park benches all around. I thought, what a great spot to just randomly leave a book for somebody. Okay, so here I am in the park. I don't see any people around. It's kind of actually a cool morning. I don't even know if you might even be able to hear the breeze on my uh, film here, but I see some park benches up here. I'm just gonna pick one, and I'm going to just drop a book for some random person to find. Isn't that beautiful? I love it here. All right, there's the bench. This is the one that's getting the book. Look around, nobody watching. Here we go. Let's hope it doesn't rain. So my wife and I own two cats and a dog, and one of my cats is on steroids. Uh, the vet called today to say that the steroids are ready. So I'm gonna go and pick up steroids for my cat and drop off a book. Did I mention I'm allergic to cats? I come into the vet. Let's see what happens. All right. I am in the parking lot at the vets and I have a book to drop off. Put this note on it. Your pet is going to love this book. Now I just got to find a inconspicuous way to leave it in there somewhere. Let's find out how I do this. Somebody else coming to drop their pet off at the vet. Hope they like books. Okay, so I found that spot on top of the uh, pamphlet thing. I was hoping I could fit my book right in where the pamphlets go, but the book was too big, so I just laid it on top. No idea how long it's going to take for somebody to notice that. Uh, somebody who works there might just grab it and throw it in the garbage, but somebody might read it, and it could change their life. Now that I have all my errands done, I am off to the gym. I'm gonna get a workout in and leave a book. Here we go. Did I mention I hate leg day? Well, all done my workout, and as you saw, I did decide to leave it in the locker at uh, inside the gym. I know they're not supposed to videotape in there, but nobody was in there with me at the time. So I took a quick video, so shh, don't tell anybody. 
And uh, yeah, that is it. I hope somebody finds it. I hope so it blesses somebody. And uh, did I mention I hate leg day? Well, there you have it. All 10 books have been randomly distributed. So what was the goal of this little experiment? Bless others with this book. Maybe inspire them to bet on themselves. Or perhaps they'll pass it on to someone else who does. And let's be honest, it's also a fun way to increase my own luck surface area. Who knows where these books will end up or who they'll inspire along the way. And that's the beauty of serendipity. Once you set things in motion, anything can happen. I'm hoping the story doesn't end here. What if one of these books ends up in the hands of someone who makes a life-changing decision? What if it sparks a new business, a new partnership, or a new beginning? I just love a good happy accident story. So what's your next move? How are you going to increase your luck surface area? Remember, the smallest actions can lead to the biggest changes.